Yep, you read that right. My name's Kasim, I'm 21, and I know that I'm going to be a billionaire by the time I turn 30. So in this video, I'm going to walk you guys through my entire plan to get there, to go from who I am right now, an average 21-year-old guy, to in the next 10 years, making over a billion dollars. And I'm making this video with the main intention to show you guys that it's actually possible. It's not some far-fetched, impossible dream, because uh, I'm going to show you guys a way that I'm going to do it, which is definitely a way that any of you, and I literally mean any of you, can replicate. Let's go through it. So guys, this is my long-term vision to become a billionaire by 30 years old and then from there go on to be worth tens of billions in the following decades. I'm going to break down the entire path that I've created to get there, starting from nothing, which is where I am right now at 21 years old. Let's get into it. So the goal as of now business-wise is of course to become a billionaire. Something that's just amassed over a worth of over a billion pounds or dollars. I'm going to go for pounds because I'm from the UK. Um, obviously along with creating a massive impact in the world. Now, both of those things are just as, just as important as each other and I'm going to explain why later on in the video. So right now this may seem like a, a crazy, far-fetched, impossible, more of a dream, uh, but after I break down this path that you may have never heard of before, I think it's going to start, start to seem a lot more possible to all of you because I am no different to all of you guys. Um, so obviously, basic definition, to make a billion, you need either one of two things. So the first one is you need just one unicorn company, meaning just one company that's worth over a billion. The second one is you can have multiple companies that aggregate to the worth of over a billion. So that, that just means you have a few companies and the worth of all of those companies uh, amounts to over a billion. Now, for me, I'm going to hedge all of the risk. I'm going to do both. I don't want to rely on just starting one company that gets me there, like some, some one big massive company. But I also don't want to aim big enough to where one of my companies does get me there by itself. So I'm just going to do both. So how does one actually make this happen? Especially as someone, which is what I am, who is not following the path of going to a university, working up the corporate ladder, for example, working at investment firms or banks or wherever it could be. Um, as I did not go to university, like I said, I, I didn't go to university whatsoever. I, I, I left high school and just got straight, straight away started my entrepreneurial journey. Um, and I'm sure that a lot of you guys as well, maybe you didn't go to university, but you're not going to go down this big, you know, investment banking kind of path that everybody goes down, that most rich people go down. So... What you have to do is you have to enter and build something that pro solves a problem big enough in one of the world's most innovative and cash abundant industries. There are quite a few of them, but I chose three industries. The first one is e-commerce, so selling products online. The second one is blockchain and Web3, which is kind of the next evolution of the internet and also finance. And number three is technology and artificial intelligence. And for me also as well, the fourth one is kind of like a, not, not so much for me to become a billionaire, but more just for the sake of having an impact uh, and creating that impact in the world, is e-learning and education, or um, educational technology, sorry. So now these are all, of course, very, very hard industries just to start a company in and, you know, a company that can, even can or even will reach over a billion of worth. Because what you'll need is one of three things, or all three things actually. You'll need a lot of money to invest into the team, millions if not tens of millions, which is why you see all the startups, they get tens of millions if not hundreds of millions sometimes of investment um, to cover the development, the cost of production, uh, and, and the team, or whatever else it could be. And a lot of knowledge and skills in a specific industry to, to be able to develop a solution that's actually worthy of being invested in or being worthy of selling enough to where it, become, it can become big enough to become a, a billion dollar company. Um, and obviously it's gonna be, a, you're gonna need the skills yourself as an entrepreneur, as a CEO, whatever you wanna call it, to manage the company, to run a team of a hundred or a thousand people maybe, depending on how big it gets. And obviously the last thing as well that people don't really um, think about sometimes is you definitely need the connections and the network to do things like raise investment, get your interest and backing from big people that you need backing and interest from, uh, get help from people and organizations that you, you will need help from. Um, and these really only mainly exist for students of top universities in the US. It's why you see the majority of billionaires, young billionaires especially, you know, in the 30s or 40s, they all come from, you know, one of the big universities in the top in US or either somebody in their company comes from one of the top universities in the US. And that's how they can, you know, enter these markets like in New York and San Francisco and Silicon Valley, all that kind of stuff. So obviously we're, we're not going to have any of that. So we have to know what to do. So to craft, to craft the path to getting there, it all starts here. The first step is to choose an industry that you will first become an expert in, both with your knowledge and skills, so you can build a potential company that can be worth a billion, all right? So how do we become an expert? Now, I'm just using the word expert, but this is the meaning that I have behind expert. The first thing is you need hands-on experience and proof in growing companies within this industry. So you have to have that experience. 
The second one is by innovating and being at the cutting edge of this industry. Pretty much what that means is just understanding what the latest uh, you know, innovations are and be, being, kind of like being at that kind of point, you have that knowledge, you understand what's going on. Uh, and then number three is by building a foothold, a strong presence and a big network in this industry. Pretty much just means that you're well known in this industry. People know who you are, people know what you've done. They know that you're serious. And an important point for this first step is to choose an industry uh, and a way uh, now, what I mean by way is pretty much a business, but you, call, you could call that a vehicle as well, uh, to become an expert. So you can't just become an expert by just sitting down and doing nothing. You have to genuinely do something to become that expert. And that's why you need a vehicle or a business to help you get there, to, to doing this vehicle, building this vehicle, you know, going through that journey will then enable you to become an expert through what you're doing in that vehicle, that business. So obviously you need a vehicle or business that will pay you, pay us very, very well so that because we're at the start of our journey it can generate us a very large cash flow and we can start to save a, a big cash a kind of like a um, savings up to fund the big company uh, that we're going to build in this big industry as obviously we didn't go to, to a top uni um, and, and we didn't go down the corporate path so we don't have any savings saved up from a you know big payout from a career or from our, our salaries or whatever it could be now for me i chose my first industry to be e-commerce which is selling products online so how do i achieve the above what we just went over and become an expert starting with no money at all i literally mean no money to invest uh, or expertise at all i know nothing about e-commerce while generating a substantial cash flow for me and i'll go over what that actually means in a minute so the way I'm going to do this is by building a growth partner agency. It's a business model that I've developed over the last few years of being, you know, running businesses online that partners with e-commerce brands and provides solutions for them to generate sales and grow their company. By doing this, I'm going to be able to learn and develop all the knowledge, the skills and expertise in this industry by having hands on experience uh, of growing multiple of these companies, whilst also getting paid five to 10 K per month per one of the companies that I work with. So each client that you work with, meaning each e-commerce brand that you work with will pay you five to 10 K a month, um, which will obviously eventually amount to a cash flow of over 50 K per month. That is the goal with this vehicle. And an important point is also that I gain the experience in building a real company. So aside from just the experience of that, I'll, what I'll know in e-commerce, I'll also kind of grow my skills in being an entrepreneur, being a CEO, being a founder. I'll understand how to build teams, how to manage teams, all that kind of stuff. So all the essential skills that I will need to build a company that can be worth over a billion. So at the right time when I am ready, and I also spot an opportunity, for example, I find a product, I realize that I can start this certain brand, then I will move on to step two, which is to build my own e-commerce brand. At this point, I'll have the expertise, the hands-on experience, the team to help me and the money to invest to build a brand that will grow to be worth over hundreds of millions, if not even a billion, you know, you never know. I, so I'm not going to exactly plan where that company is going to go. It could be worth tens of millions, hundreds of millions, or even a billion. I'm not too sure, uh, depending on obviously what the brand is that I start over the space of, of course, two to four years of, of running that brand and growing that brand. And for me, the I think the industry or the, the kind of more space that I've chosen or the niche that I've chosen within e-commerce or the brands that I could build is most likely going to be in the health and wellness space. So any, any brand or product that's you know, helping somebody solve a core problem of their health, uh, which is why uh, for me, I think it's gonna have the most opportunity to grow rapidly. Um, so now that I've grown uh, at this point over 10 e-commerce brands, including my own one at this point, um, I'll move on to step three, which is a really important one that you may have never really thought of before, which is to build something called a growth equity firm. Now, pretty much what this is, it's an organization that invests and partners with companies that have proven their product market fit and have and have a really high potential to grow. So now that I have that experience myself, I understand e-commerce, I know how to grow brands, I have the cash myself, I have the foothold in the industry, meaning and people know me, people trust me, I can then now invest into and part own, kind of like co-own, uh, 10 to 100 different e-commerce brands in different spaces. So the growth, the growth equity firm will be kind of the evolution of my growth partner agency. So obviously with the agency, I'm more working on a client basis, with the growth equity firm, I'm more investing and becoming a partner in all these brands that I'm working with and growing, all right? So what I'm gonna be doing is pretty much investing into a brand, which I'll mean I'll become a part owner anywhere between, for example, 10 to 40% of the brand I will own myself after I invest into it. And then obviously I will then use my team, my knowledge, everything I, I've, I've developed over the last three, four years of first running my agency to then building my own brand, to then build this brand that I've then partnered with. And I will do that over and over and over again uh, with 10 to even 100 brands, depending on how big I, t I build my team. So I'll give you an example. I invest 200K into a brand that's kind of like just started out, but they've kind of, they, they've had their initial blow up. The people know who they are, their product's working, their product's unique. And then I will invest 200K and I will get 40% of that company. My team will grow the brand to be worth, for example, 100 million, 
So then my personal net worth will increase by 40 million because I could sell my shares of that brand whenever I want. So therefore I am worth that amount of money. So and of course the model, the, the end goal with this model uh, is to eventually um, sell the brands or exit the brands that I grow. So for example, again, if I, for example, take a brand uh, to be worth to a billion dollars, it may not be my brand, but I co-own the brand and I have 40% of that uh, brand, then when we go to sell that brand, I will then get 400 million. Obviously, this is hypothetical. I will get 400 million because I have 40%. Does that make sense? So that's the idea of how I can massively grow wealth without just starting businesses myself. And the goal would be to do this process over and over again, like I said, with who knows, 10 to 100 different e-commerce brands. And that would just keep increasing my cash in the bank by tens or even hundreds of million dollars at a time. Of course, it's going to be the space over four, five, six, seven years. Um, now, at this point, I've pretty much done all that I can do with the e-commerce industry, industry, pretty much. And I could do, at this point, I could already, already be a billionaire. I, 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 who knows, you know, it's, it's up to you. The case of, for example, maybe one brand blows up, maybe, you know, whatever could happen. I may be a billionaire, I may not be, but I know I'll be really rich. So, like I said, I'm not going to rely on just e-commerce to get me to the point of being a billionaire. I'm going to hedge the risk and make sure that I do the exact same thing that I did just there in multiple other industries. So, what I'm going to do is the next industry is going to be e-learning and online education, like I talked about before. Now, like I said, this one is more for me uh, kind of starting to further my impacts in the world. It's less for me trying to become a billionaire. It's more for me, obviously, it is going to make a lot of money, but I'll explain what's going to happen in a minute. So why is this kind of more for impact? Because everyone will, and, and why is impact important? So everyone will realize, and I'm sure if you talk to a very, very rich guy, they will say the same. Everyone will realize at a certain point in your entrepreneurship journey that no amount of money, no amount of success, no amount of businesses doing well, no amount of billions even, uh, will make you really feel fulfilled and really happy. So what does do that? What does do that is giving back to the world, being of service to people, being of service to humanity and actually creating an impact, changing people's lives. So I'm choosing to start this process of feeling that way and doing things that make me feel that way, not in a selfish sense, but more, I know that what will happen. Um, uh, I'm going to start that journey as soon as possible. So as soon as I make my first bit of money, I'm going to start that uh, ASAP. So that's how, why I'm going to build my first education company. So what it will look like is I'm going to build an online education company that sells products to teach young men how they can do essentially what I've done, how they can change their lives the same way I've changed my life, uh, both in a sense of, so the two products I'm going to have, the first one is going to be a paid community, which is, for example, you pay monthly, you're going to be a part of the community. Inside the community, there's going to be courses that teach you everything about what I've done. The second product is gonna be a comprehensive program, a big program, almost like a university course, uh, focused on teaching entrepreneurs the ins and outs of building their own growth partner agency, which is obviously the first business model that I used to get to where I was, um, so that they can progress down their long-term vision. Obviously, through generating sales and customers for these products, it will create a cash flow of at least 100K to maybe 250K per month, um, while also changing thousands of lives, which is the most important point with this business. At the same time, as I did with, uh, with e-commerce, I will also build a growth partner agency in this space too. So this, this will mean I'll have my second agency. So what I will do is I'll, I'll partner with e-learning companies or online education companies or info product companies, different names for them, uh, to provide solutions that generate sales for them and grow their company. And by doing this again, I'm able to understand literally everything there is to understand uh, about this industry. And I'll become an expert with hands-on experience growing not only my own education company, but also 10 plus others, which obviously then again, will generate 50K per month of cash flow just from that one agency. So at this point, I may look to start buying into companies and, and investing into e-learning companies, but I'm not really sure. Like I said, it's not really me. This industry is not really for me to become a billionaire or to really grow my wealth too much. It's more for the sake of impact. So I may just focus on the next two industries that we'll go through. So an important side quest that you could, um, you can kind of call it a side quest, you can call it like a, it's not really another business, it's more just another focus that you will have to have, that I will have, is to, which I, I think is essential in this day and age, if you really want to become a leader and you really want to become a multi-billionaire. Um, you know, it's not like 100% essential, but I think it's very, very um, beneficial uh, now compared to what, what it was before. And that is to build my personal brand, build my online presence, which means co um, posting content and building my audience on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter are the main ones. Um, and the content that I'd be posting is pretty much just like this, just content like this. I'm not trying to sell anything or teach anything. I'm just documenting my journey, showing you everything with as much transparency as I possibly can, uh, what I'm doing both in a business sense and obviously every other aspect of life. So obviously this is more focused on business, but I also plan to make videos on how I'm gonna change my life more personally, more of my mindset, more of my you know physique and my body, the way I feel. 
my lifestyle, my relationships, whatever it could be. I'm gonna make you know videos that document that whole journey of how I'm gonna get to where I want to be in all aspects. And also then giving advice and showing other people how they can do the same as me through what I've learned, uh, going through all these, all these experiences. And this is ex essential in my opinion for three reasons. You know, first will have an audience where, that will allow me to create an impact in the world, which is, which is obviously one of the most important things, aside from being a billionaire, is to have that impact and to really change lives. Um, by giving advice and showing how people can do what I've done and how they can change their lives completely for free. So it won't be a business, it will just be me giving advice and just showing what I'm doing. And um, People can watch that and learn from that and change their lives just for free. The second one is an audience will of course give me a massive advantage with every company I build. The trust that I build from my audience and the audience, how my audience perceives me will then be automatically how they perceive the companies that I build. They'll have that same level of trust. Uh, and obviously as well, an audience and a big presence, some would call it, you know, you could call it fame, how famous you are, I guess, uh, will definitely obviously give me that benefit of broadening my network, allowing me to connect with more people, more people will know me, more people will want to know me, uh, all that kind of stuff. So it will act as social proof in, uh, in the environment of business, which obviously going back to what we said at the beginning, when you need, uh, because you will need connections, you will need a network to help you build these massive companies, this will enable me to, you know, give me an advantage in that sense. So. Now that we've done these two industries and they're completed, let's move on to the third one. So this third one is gonna be blockchain and Web3. So here I'm gonna follow the same process as e-commerce, but I would only really start this process when the industry is more matured. If I was to start an agency or go into this industry right now, it'd be, it, there's nothing, there's just nothing to do. It's so, you know, kind of like immature and it's like, if you start a company in this, nobody's really gonna back it just because of the whole overall vibe of blockchain and crypto, it's just not really there yet. It's not really matured yet, but I know that it will at some point and this is gonna be the future. So I'm gonna wait until that happens, maybe two years, maybe three years, maybe four years, whatever it could be. But when that happens, then the first thing I will do is I'm gonna build another growth partner agency. So now, now it's gonna be my third agency in this industry uh, and I would choose the best opportunity at the time. So whatever companies it is in blockchain or Web3, uh, that I could choose to work with. I will you know, come up with a solution to help, help help these companies grow. Could be through social media, could be through whatever it could be, but well, that's what I'm gonna do. At some point when the industry is more matured, I'll start a growth partner agency and again, do the same thing that I did with e-commerce and e-learning uh, and do it in this e uh, industry too. And then at a certain point, when I'm ready, when I have the understanding, when I have the network, which is really an important thing in this industry, is I will start my own project. Now obviously I have no idea what that project could look like. It can be multiple things. It could be a DeFi platform. It could be solutions for businesses to use uh, so that they can use the blockchain. It could be a creator or social network, a platform uh, using web or on Web3, which is the next evolution of the internet uh, using the blockchain. It's a, if you wanna search up what Web3 is, just go and search up on a, a maybe like Ash ChatGPT. it will give you a description. Um, but essentially what I'm gonna do in this industry is the exact same that I would do in e-commerce. So I would start one company myself and then I would go on to build a growth equity firm. Now at this point, the structure of that growth equity firm, it may be the same one as e-commerce, it may be a different one completely, uh, who knows, but at that time, I would definitely start a growth equity firm or start doing that within uh, the blockchain and Web3 industry. So I would start to invest in uh, ideas, uh, both ideas and companies that are already successful within this industry and then do the same thing. So at this point, obviously it's gonna be a massive industry. When it was last bill run, there was companies that were being sold for tens of millions, hundreds of millions that were producing, you know, generating millions and millions every single week, just average guys. So I know that this industry, industry is gonna be massive. So at this point, I could already be a billionaire again. So that's why I've kind of moved into now two industries because the chance of even one of these industries making me a billionaire is very high. So if I do it in both, it's kind of uncertain that I'll become a billionaire. So then we move on to the fourth and final industry, which for me is gonna be artificial intelligence or technology. Now obviously the reason this one is fourth for me is because I know it's gonna be the hardest one to break into. It's the one that most of the other big massive, you know, unicorn companies, think of Nvidia, think of Apple, maybe not Apple, but you know, big massive companies in tech, obviously they're not just normal companies. You know, you have to have a lot of uh, investment raised, you have to have a very, very special product, a very special solution that really breaks into the market. So I know that the maybe seven, eight years, or maybe six years that I'll have going through those other three industries, then coming to artificial intelligence, I know that I'll be much more prepared and at the right point to be able to actually build a solution or in some way uh, build a company uh, within this industry. It could be a product, it could be uh, a software, it could be a platform, it could be technology, whatever it could be. But I know that I'll be much more ready 
to actually do that and then turn that company into something that could become a multi-billion dollar company, even $10 billion, billion, whatever it could be. It could be insanely big, but I don't know, but I know that I'll be ready for that. And that's the big thing about why I'm going through this process the way that I am. Uh, the most important thing about it, what I've learned from uh, reading the stories of other billionaires, even some of the richest people that have ever existed. For example, let's take uh, John D. Rockefeller, for example. The, the way they became a billionaire is not because they necessarily had uh, a crazy idea uh, and they were just so smart from the beginning. It was because they put themselves in the position to be ready to spot an opportunity when the when the market or the economy was ripe to be um, you know taken advantage of. So for example, for John D. Rockefeller, he first got rich when there was a big economic crash back in like 18 something when he was uh, about uh, back long, long time ago. There was a big economic crash to do something with oil and he was the one that spotted the opportunity. He was ready. He was ripe to then take that adva- take advantage of that you know big economic crash and then build something massive out of it in the oil industry, whatever it was that he actually did. I can't remember. So that's the same thing here. It's the same thing. There will be a big crash. There will be a big economic something that will get, that's going to happen very very soon. The next four, five, six years, but maybe the next decade. But as soon as it happens, I am preparing myself to be ready to be the person that can see the. When everybody else is, is thinking that the world's going to end, I'm there realizing, okay, what can I do here? Where, what can I take advantage of? What can I build? What what solutions can I provide? You know, I, I'm the one that's being calm. And that's why it's really, really important that you need to understand, regardless of where you're starting in life, if you went to university, if not, none of that matters. You just have to, essentially, all, this is, all that I'm doing through these other businesses that I'm building, other industries that I'm going through, it's not for the money. It's to prepare me to be able to be the person that can then spot the right opportunity at the right time and then build that company that turns into a worldwide known multi-billion dollar company uh, like companies like Apple or, or Microsoft or Dell, whatever it could be, whatever that is going to be in the next 10, 15, 20 years, um, I'm going to be ready to, to be there and to be the one that, that builds that company from, from the ground up. So one important point as well that I'd like to um, kind of uh, talk about is that I see myself doing this Uh, not maybe not 100% but quite a lot of this I I see myself doing this mainly in the Arab market now it doesn't mean that I'm going to be working with Arab companies it just means that I'm going to be kind of running my businesses there my companies are going to be based there my money is going to be based there and it's also for the main point of when I build these growth equity firms these these funds they're the same as investment firms so growth equity what that is pretty much is just a, a type of investment firm that invests into companies that are ripe to grow Um, And there's a difference between venture capital and growth equity and private equity. And you can search up. I don't want to explain too much and let this video be too long, but you can go search that up. But I know for me um, that the Arab Arab world, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, um, is going to be the future. I just see it. I think it really is going to be. And I'd rather be there than than being in the US. I'd rather do business there than doing business all in the US. But of course, I will do some business in the US and probably a lot of business in the US. Um, but I see when it comes to raising investment, when it comes to getting backers, when it comes to all this stuff, I see the Arab world as a much more uh, flourishing place for me to be into. So in the next few few years, I will definitely be going over there, moving there and kind of building everything that I'm doing there. And also for the sense of that, I think when, when it comes to the type of startups or type of companies you can build, there's so much that has been done in the US that hasn't been done in the Arab world that I think if you really go into that market and you build not not the same thing that's been done in the US, but just take the same ideas and you do it in the Arab world, you know, it could go, it can go incredibly well. Um, so you won't necessarily have to reinvent the whole, reinvent the wheel. You just have to do what, what the market needs that's already been done in the US and bring it to the Arab world, do it for them uh, and it can, you know, it blow up massively. And, uh, and a good, a massive side note to all this as well is on the side of building these businesses, I will also be learning and becoming an expert in and, and using crypto and also possibly stocks, but mainly crypto, I think. Uh, I'll be using it in terms of trading it and also investing in it as one of my main vehicles to grow my wealth rapidly. And I mean really rapidly uh, over the next couple couple bull runs. Um, uh, yeah, uh, that, that's going to be a, a main vehicle for me on the side. So aside from the businesses, the profits will then go into crypto, both with trading when it comes to me actually trading and making trades, also with investing to compound those profits. Um, and then, yeah, I, I have no doubt that's going to be one of my main reasons as to why I'm going to become, you know, my wealth is going to rapidly blow up. So, like I said, impact is a very important thing. And I obviously mentioned the e-learning company and the education company, but the other thing that I'm really going to be focusing on very soon, you know, inshallah, is going to be building a, a foundation uh, or a charity, you call it. So I'm going to build a foundation. I already have the idea for it, but I'll talk about that in another video. 
Um, I actually have the ideas for most of this stuff, but I'll talk about them in separate videos. I don't want this video to be like an hour long. Um, so I'm going to build a foundation that is going to innovate the way that the average person views and gives to charity, um, especially to the less fortunate children of the world. Uh, and this I'm going to start, like I said, as soon as possible alongside the other companies that I plan to build. So an important thing to remember as well is that you may think that I have to complete one company or complete one, one industry before moving on to the next one, but you don't have to. For me, I'm going to be building all these things simultaneously. It's not going to be a case of like, okay, first I do e-commerce, then I finish that, then I go into e-learning company, then I finish that, then I go into blockchain. All of them are going to be built when the time is right uh, and I can do them all at the same time. And the reason I can do that is because I'm going to be able to build teams with the money that I have, with the skills that I have, I'll be able to build teams to be able to take a lot of the work off of my hands so I can focus on, focus on being the visionary, focus on coming up with ideas, focus on coming up with how I'm going to do things. And then when it comes to actually doing it, um, I can build a team that can do that for me. And that is the hallmark of every successful CEO. No CEO, no massive company was ever built just because of the CEO. It was because the CEO was good enough to hire the right people to build a product. That's essentially uh, how business uh, and the big leagues really work. You just, you just have to be the best person at finding the right talent uh, to actually run your company and build your company. So pretty much there we have it. That That is my path to becoming a billionaire. And obviously, like I said, I can make a whole three or four hour podcast on this, uh, exactly the detailed things in every single industry that I'm going to do. And what I will do is that every company that I'm going to build from now on, everything that I do from now on, I'm going to document it. So this is the first kind of video of this lifelong series of me documenting everything that I do from now on, uh, both business and personal life. Uh, I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm doing because in my mind, it may sound a bit crazy, but I have this certainty that I will get to the point of being a billionaire and, you know, past that. And you may ask why as well. I'll touch on this. You may ask why, you know, why do, I want to, why do I want to become a billionaire? Is it just for me? Is it selfish? Is it because I like the title? Is it because I want the money? And none of that is true. What is true for me is going back to what I kept repeating, which was impact. Uh, so impact for me is, uh, and being of service is what I, I have luckily realized is your true purpose in life. It's, uh, you do, every, I'm going to do everything that I do. Obviously a main thing of that, the main uh, thing that I'm going to do is become a billionaire through doing all of this and I'm doing that so that I can then be of service to the world take all the wisdom knowledge that I've gained through the experiences that nobody else you know has ever gone through uh, especially at my at, at the age that I'm going to do it at um, and and try to you know condense it and make it easy to understand so I can give people the same knowledge that I've gained through doing all my experiences but they don't have to do any of that so they can go much further than me if they want to um, so that that's the that's the idea. It's, it's all this is to be done. Me becoming a billionaire. It's only so that people can see. And obviously, the, the other point to it is that I'm going to be do documenting everything in a very very transparent way. That's never ever been done before by anybody. And I mean that there's not one person in the world that has ever existed that has documented their journey uh, like I am going to do. So that's going to be a very very important point. And the main reason I'm doing that is so that other people, for example, let's take it me when I was starting out at 17, um, a young guy goes and finds this guy Casa Mac oh, man, he's a billionaire let's see let's see how so he goes on to my he realizes I have a YouTube oh you got a YouTube then you can see that you can scroll back years and years you can go back to now when I'm even when I, even before I have videos on my YouTube channel from when I was 18 or 17 um, but you can go back to now especially and see every video of every me documenting every company that I've built me giving advice of everything that I'm learning uh, from now until the point where I'm a billionaire a multi-billionaire and if he can see that this guy who started off as the same as him, I'm speaking the same way as him, I think the same way as him, I look the same as him, uh, I come from the same place, he can realize that if he's become a billionaire and he's shown me how to do it, then I know that I can do that too. That's really the reason as to why I'm doing this. That's really the, the main goal. That's the, the main mission that I have is to really create a paradigm shift for young young men and obviously just young women as well, of course, to, um, to, to help them realize that they have potential that they just don't understand yet. And society doesn't help them realize that potential but they can do it themselves. They don't need society. They don't need to listen to society. Uh, they can realize their potential and they can unlock it and they can fulfill the plan that God has laid out for them before they were born. Um, yeah, I'll explain more of that in a later video, but uh, I'll end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please, um, if you feel like you want to, subscribe to the channel, uh, watch the journey. If you want to follow me on Instagram as well, it's just Kasim Akram, Q-A-S-I-M, uh, A-C-K-R-I-M. You can follow me on there, DM me anytime. I'll be able to see your messages and send you a voice note back if you have a question. Um, and yeah, I look forward to making a lot more of these videos for you guys and I'll see you very soon. Much love.